All right, guys, welcome to Caveman Crawling. This is going to be the first video from here at the HQ in Idaho. We have a kind of brand new, the gremlins around the cave kind of already got into it. Bigfoot was away, so the gremlins will play. We have a SCX24 B17 Betty. We ran it a little bit when it first got here. Unfortunately, it's not a fresh unboxing, but it is brand new. Um, we're going to do an unboxing. We'll do a little, we'll run it on the HQ course. And then we'll do a final thoughts at the end and let you guys know what's up. So out of the box, we got the B17 Betty. It comes with the Axial Rock Lizard tires stock. They don't have a foam in them. This one is 7,959 out of 9,999. Um, it got the real nice kind of World War II bomber pinup girl style graphics on it. Doesn't. It ran, it's ran a little bit. It's been run real good. We're going to put it through its paces. Uh, down the road, we're going to start doing some upgrades to it. Instead of the wishbone style three link that it has, eventually we're going to go to a four link style setup. Maybe a little bit taller Endura or little guy racing parts or hot racing maybe shocks. Lift it up just a little bit. Still kind of keep it stock. Maybe once we're done testing the RC all or RC four wheel drive, excuse me, stamp steel B lock wheels and the Milestar tire Patagonias, we might run them on here. We'll just have to see what happens. Excuse me for the diesel noise in the background of the HQ. Um, and then we'll we'll probably do a build on it on YouTube for everyone. And then this one is a hood pin. It is not Velcro. It is a hood pin just like a Deadbolt or a C10 or some of the Jeeps are. Um, you get the truck ready to run out of the box. On the, We'll open it up real quick. On the inside, you got the A6 receiver and transmitter. We have a power hobby, I believe. 450 MAH 2S LiPo battery. These come stock from the factory with an 88 turn motor. Um, keep a lookout. We are going to do a video on a Gladiator build that has a 66 turn hot racing motor. Then in the box it comes in a commemorative anniversary kind of faux garage look if you're going to keep it new in the box. So there's that. Or you might want to use it for like a diorama background. See my gremlins have already been in the box here. Um, around the HQ we had laying around a pair of 3D printed lime green uh, simulation beadlocks you'd have to glue on tires though they might go on a build or we might do a giveaway it just kind of depends on how big things get and let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see a rim giveaway um, you get an AX4 uh, controller we it's got a kind of a green disc on the brake rotor look when you open up the top you got your steering trim, you got your serv the speed with your servo will turn, you got your low, medium, and high gears, you got neutral or, re or uh, normal or reversed for your throttle and for uh, left and right steering, then your bind button if you ever have to get a new ESC receiver combo and you stick with an axial. Then down here in the bottom we have a USB lipo charger. For the 2s lipo battery that comes with the truck we're not using the stock one right now we're using an aftermarket battery we just grabbed a battery off the rack um, we also have a commemorative challenge coin it's a some kind of metal coin it's all it's engraved it says scx 24 b17 betty it's got the axial logo on the back it's axial racing 15 years it's got a nice plastic cover for it then we have a parts bag in here with some extra rear links, or a drive shaft, an extra body po uh, body pin, and then down here in the bottom as well we have a uh, manual for the B17 Betty, and then some connection guides and some stock paperwork when you buy a new SCX24. Um, back of the box is a little bit different. It's got some commemorative stuff. It does have metal axles, does have worm gear, metal gears, and so forth. It's a real good truck right out of the box. We've loved running it so far, and we're going to take it over to the course, and we're going to start it up. And this is the maiden voyage of the Caveman Crawling HQ Rock Course. It's got some 
pretty tough lines and some pretty slick uh, rock, desert rock from up here in the Idaho desert. Um, it's probably some granite and so forth. It's tile rocks, typical East, uh, Idaho or Eastern Oregon slick desert rock. Um, we've done a little bit of testing with the new Patagonia tires. They stick really well to this style rock. The rock lizards, they're kind of slipping from what I can tell off the first impressions. I haven't got to drive it but a couple of times. Um, we're going to try and do this challenge line and see how well it makes it through. And I'm going to do this one as a more of a stock mod build. Um, I'm going to end up giving it to my dad for like a, a birthday present later this year. We'll probably do a build video on it on the channel. He wants it to be pretty much stock height and stock dimensions, but have the capabilities and flex of like one of my comp buggies or my gladiator that I'm working on will. It's going through this slick rock pretty good. It's As you can tell, it's getting stuck a little bit, but not too bad. Um, it's got really good articulation for stock. I believe they're 35 or 38 millimeter shocks. I'm not sure I didn't get a micrometer out and measure. And then unfortunately, now the hand of the gremlin is gonna have to come in and flip the beautiful B17 back over. We'll run it a couple, we'll run a couple more lines and then we'll take it back over to the table for a final thoughts and what I would recommend if I think it's worth buying if you want it for your collection or if you want to modify it and possibly compete with it. We're still in the early stages of some testing and so forth here. It's going over this middle challenge line that my comp buggy loves really well. And then I say that and I flip it. Oh, I almost flipped it. The gremlins might have to go out and recover the, the Betty again, but we will see. And then look out on the channel for here pretty soon. There's going to be a hidden Sasquatch in all of the videos. In the build videos, there will be a Sasquatch somewhere in the background. Um, it's just kind of our, our trademark here. The Caveman HQ is Sasquatch of some variety. And then maybe around Christmas we might find one and paint it white like a Yeti. But yeah, let's take it back over to the table and give a final thought. All right. If you're the collectible type of person, do I recommend doing what I'm gonna do with it? No, I would say, especially if you have a lower number, probably a thousand and under I would I wouldn't even have opened it I would have left it and it would have sat in the the office of the HQ or the workshop of the HQ is more of a, a collectible item um, this one's a higher number I plan on finding a lower number later on just to keep as a collectible for the collection this one like I said I'm gonna do probably maybe some Endura or I'm not sure what kind of, a little bit taller, maybe some Endura double barrel 43 millimeter shocks in like a green color, and then do like a silver and green underneath. Um, that's kind of the build I was thinking for it, just do a, something a little bit different. It definitely is good. Um, the 88T motor leaves a little bit left to be desired, just because it's a little bit zippier, not as much torque. The torque's better for crawling. I personally prefer to go slow and take my time instead of just rock bash. The rock lizard tires, a little bit I've messed with them, they do hook up really good. Um, we might do another video at some point with a with the Patagonia Mile Stars. They're a 52 millimeter tire with a stamped steel RC four-wheel drive parts beadlock. They're see what they see what they do um if i do that i will definitely put out another video i appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my channel i have also i'm on instagram it's caveman crawling 94 um and thank you for watching i appreciate it